Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you guys. Uh, I will be starting my live stream shortly. Uh, we have new information out. Uh, let me show you. Hurricane Sally is now at 100 miles per hour winds. It is already, uh, according to the National Hurricane Center, it is going to be a Cat 2. And it is predicted that it could become a Cat 3 as well. Uh, here's the growth that you have from probability from tropical storm force winds. This is a new loop that you have. This is your one to three excessive rain, rainfall look. Look, look, <laughs> sorry, outlook. It looks like it went a little more easterly. Sorry, just as predicted with the winds pushing it. Now it's got the dry air coming into it. I'll show you. But it, New Orleans looks like you're getting less. Uh, it is moving towards the Mississippi, Alabama area. Just like it showed a few days ago, guys. Remember, it showed uh, Biloxi right at day one. Now it's still showing a 711 feet uh, of storm surge for Louisiana, and it's still got six to nine feet right here from Mississippi and four to six for Alabama. So be aware of that, please. And here she is right here. And the main thing you can see is she does have an eye that moves around. It's right here. Then it dances around. You see the eye? It dances around. It comes up here. So she's not quite centered yet. And if you can see this yellow right here, this is the dry air trying to get inside of it to kill it. See it right here? It's trying to get inside and choke it and slow it down. It's growing in there. That's probably what's keeping the eye separated. Because the eyes are separated. If you take a good look, it wants to be here. And when it moves in, the eye moves up. So it's, we'll see what happens. Uh, some of the models are actually showing that it, it could be the Euro model. It's taking so long to get into... Uh, the, the land and, and hit is because they saying well at the weather channel if you go to the link in my community tab you get a free link to go watch them uh, it, it is a free link forever guys uh, just hit the like button let, let me know you appreciate it I, I, I appreciate you now it's loading up it's on 51 hours when it goes to 60 I'll play you but the euro is showing that it's more of a westerly and then it comes in so as it sits instead of the 36 hours from the GFS coming in the euro shows it takes 48 hours to come in. That means that there's actually could be a stall, guys. And this thing could stall for 6 to 12 hours, according to the euro. So I'm running this model so you can see exactly what happens with this system. This is not the euro model, uh, but this is what we have. And then when I live stream, we'll, of course, we'll have live scan going on. Now, the main thing, according to what I have on my models, a three is forecasted very soon. All right, the model is ready. Let me play this for you so you can see it. And then I'll read what it says. And you can see the, low, the, the dry air trying to get in there, so it's not quite getting a center eye yet. But it is powerful for something that don't have a, quite a center yet. There it goes. It starts getting a center. Dry air is not, not really affecting it much longer. Watch this. Still hits it again with dry air. It's cat three with dry air choking it out. Who knows what this thing could have been. Now there it goes right there, and it's able to strengthen. There's no more dry air. Let's see how small the center gets. I'm watching this for the first time, just as you. That's getting pretty small, guys. The smaller it gets, the more intensity that it is. And here's the track that we have for the next 60 hours of this storm. This is on the 16th, if you look on the top left, at 10 a.m. That's two days away, guys. This, this thing is moving so slow. All this in front of his way is going to be six to eight inches of flooding. This is nothing but heavy rainfall on a slow-moving storm. That's all this is. It's going to go straight for Atlanta. Oh, that's the last shot we got. That's a 60-hour look. And that's what we got, guys. Now, let me read this to you real quick. I'll play it again. I'll put it a little bit slower for you. Uh, that way, I can tell you every data, and I can get this up to you so you all can see exactly what's going on. Now, I'm going to read what we have for the Cat 3. What they're expecting out of this storm. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see exactly who's affected. Now it's showing that it's going to get up to 112 max winds, 114, and then it's going to go to 99. So it's showing it will go down quite quickly then to a tropical storm. But this tropical storm is going to carry all the way. It's going to bring all the heavy rains with it. So God bless everybody in this path. Please charge your phones. This is going to be serious. This heavy rainfall is going to knock your power out. Look, it's just stalling right there. It's just sitting there. Let's time that out real quick. All right, when it gets to the edge of Louisiana, 
8 a.m. 8 a.m. tomorrow. Then when it finally moves, that is at 4 p.m. when it finally starts heading north. So that is a six-hour stall, guys. The euro is correct on that. All right, I'm going to get this video out to you. Live stream is starting soon. God bless you all. I hope y'all see you all out there. For at least you, as long as you can, at least. I know that your power going out. That's not going to be an easy thing to do. So I'm going to read you something where I was looking for it. I didn't have a section picked out for you. I didn't expect to do another uh, update. Uh, before I went live streaming. But this cat too, y'all need to know about it. So I've been reading about Isaiah. And I'm going to read Isaiah 45. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him. And I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leave gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have sermoned thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, thou thast hast not known me. That, that, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is no one else. Uh, I'm, amen. God bless everybody. I, I'll see y'all soon. All glory goes to God.